Amos, where are you? Dinner was cold an hour ago. All right, Mom, I'm sorry. I'll be home in like half an hour. Okay, maybe an hour. What are you talking about? Where are you? I'm in the park, okay? David's Park. Still? You're playing chess with those old guys again? Not those old guys, Mom. The old guy. Oh, who's the old guy then? It's Chame. He used to be like a chess champion or something way back in the day. Wait, you're talking about Chame Cohen, are you? Yeah, yeah, do you know him? Ugh, of course, sweetie, everyone knows Chame. Your grandfather had quite a time with that guy back in the day. Oh, really? So they used to party together or something? Party together? Oh, please, your grandfather's party? No, but that deadbeat used to owe him money all the time. What do you mean? Well, you know how your grandpa ran that pawn shop downtown that I told you about? The one on, um... What's that road called? Bleecker Street. Yeah, yeah, it reminds me of Beaker. Well, Chame used to come in there all the time, trying to get a deal on this, a deal on that, pawning this, trading that. Well, isn't that what a pawn shop is for? Yes, but it's not a bank that you can just ask for loans, and that's just what he did to your poor sucker of a grandpa. Wait, grandpa was a sucker? What are you talking about? Okay, I guess I wouldn't say a sucker, more like... A little too generous and trusting with his money. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, we just have to finish this game, okay? Then I'll be home. Um, honey, it's almost dark. Are you going to be home in time? Yes, Mom, jeez. Amos, tell me the truth. Did you put any money on this game? No, I swear, I don't do that anymore, Mom. Well, you better not be, because your father and I have had a long talk about that. It's not happening, okay? Honey, you're so intelligent. I just don't want you to end up like your Uncle Eli. Oh, come on. I'm not going to end up like Uncle Eli, okay? That dude's a loser. He's not a loser. He's just gone through a lot in his life. Yeah, like jail. Look, just come home, all right? And it's also a school night, by the way. Just a little while longer. Do I have to get your father involved in this? Ugh, I'll be right home. Well, well, if it isn't little Lamus. What do you want, Shame? I missed you in the park today. Where were you? Did you have too much homework or something? No, I just done some other stuff that I had to take care of. Oh, some other stuff, huh? Like what? I am not supposed to be down there at the park for a while, okay? But why not? Did you get in trouble or something? Or are you scared? No, I'm not scared. So did you get in trouble then? Look, my mom just doesn't want me gambling anymore, okay? But why not? It's just a healthy game between friends. I always gambled when I was a kid your age. Well, I guess times have changed or something. That's what mom and dad said. So you always listen to everything that your mom and dad says? Well, they are pretty smart people. I bet your mom and dad were not as smart as them. Oh, please. My parents were bona fide geniuses. My dad was an engineer and my mom was a doctor. My dad worked on the rockets, you know. Oh, really? I think you're full of crap. Come on, kid. Come on down to the park and play with me. Double or nothing on the last game. I don't think so. I can't afford to get grounded. Wrestle Gonza's this weekend and I can't miss it. Oh, you like that professional wrestling crap, huh? Of course I do. It's only the best sport in the world. Oh, please. That's hardly even a sport. You know it's all fake, right? You don't know what you're talking about. Ha! You don't know that it's fake? How old are you again? Eight? I'm eleven, you old jerk. And I know that's what they say, and maybe a lot of it is, but those guys are still getting hurt up there. Well, only a little kid like you thinks like that. So when are you going to come back down here? After your little wrestling show? Maybe, if I can get away. Yeah, sure. Don't you want a little extra money to spend there? Get yourself a popcorn and a soda pop? Maybe a t-shirt with a shirtless man on it? <laughs> I told you, I can't play. You know, all that stuff in those arena shows are so overpriced. T-shirts are like 50 bucks or something. What? No way! Yep. And do you really think your mommy and daddy are going to drop that for you on a silly little t-shirt? After they've already forked over... How much for the tickets? Uh, they said that if they were going to take me there, I had to buy whatever souvenirs I got myself. Uh-huh. And you have that much bread just lying around? Considering all the losing you've been doing down at the park lately, I think not. 
Whatever, I don't need a t-shirt anyway. Oh, really? You're going to go to WrestleGonza and not get a t-shirt? But won't you be the only kid in your class without one? How will you even prove that you were ever there in the first place? Alright, fine. You want a game, Chaim? I'll bring you a game. Yes, excellent. Excellent. Double or nothing, uh, tomorrow after school, 3 p.m. David's Park, under the elm. But what about Mommy and Daddy? Aren't they going to expect you home? I'll just tell them I'm over at my friend Bobby's house. Uh-huh, well, I suppose the game is on then. The game is on. I can't wait to take your money, boy genius. We'll see about that. Hello, honey. Are you home from school yet? Oh, um, you aren't home then? Um, why, honey? Oh, nothing. Sorry. I forgot to tell you that I was going to go over to Bobby Jessup's house after school today. Bobby's house? Bobby Jessup? Yeah, I'll be home by dinner. But is this the Bobby who got caught smoking a cigar behind the synagogue a few months ago? No, no, no. That was Bobby Zahn. Oh, um, okay. Well, just be careful, okay? Uh, okay, of course. Do you have any homework? Nope, I got it all done in study hall today. Wow, really? Yep, easy peasy. Honey, we really should start talking about high schools. High schools? What are you talking about? I'm only 11. Well, honey, it's never too late to be thinking about your future. Believe me, Mom, I'm thinking about my future all the time. Oh, really? Well, I didn't know that. What are you thinking about? Well, I'm thinking about... Dynamo and whether or not he's going to win the title match against Quad X this weekend at WrestleGonza. Oh, of course, WrestleGonza. That's this weekend, isn't it? I must have totally forgotten. Isn't it exciting, Mom? We're going to have such a great time. Oh, yes. I'm so happy that you talked me into this. Yeah, I know that you didn't want to go, but I'm really glad that Dad and I talked you into it. Yes, dear. Of course. I can't wait to see Dynamo and Quad X. Mom, I have to go. Uh, Bobby and I are going to go play some Minecraft. I'll talk to you later. Oh, Minecraft, huh? You can't gamble with that game, can you? Uh, Mom, uh, I guess you can put money down on anything, but no, nobody gambles on Minecraft. Oh, well, good. Have a good time then, dear, and remember, be home for dinner. Yep, we will do, Mom. Bye! <laughs> uh, what do you want, old man? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to make sure that you were feeling okay after I beat your butt today. Yeah, I'm fine, okay? So just leave me alone. So, by my simple calculations, that's a hundred bucks you've lost me, or given me, rather, in just the last week. Yeah, so what? How many weeks of allowance is that for you? That's none of your business, old man. So I guess you can just kiss that t-shirt at WrestleGonza goodbye. Guess you'll be the odd boy out next Monday morning at school. Alright, that's enough out of you. I've had it, okay? I'm trying to watch TV. Hey, I'm just talking a little bit of trash. Nothing wrong with that, kiddo. It's all part of the game. Well, I've never seen any chess players on TV talking trash and gloating and shoving it in the other player's face. You mean, the loser's face? Yeah, yeah, the loser's. That's not the kind of game that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the hustle. The hustle? Of course. You have to learn about the hustle. You're old enough by now, right? I don't even know what you're talking about. You're crazy. I guess your old man didn't tell you anything, huh? My dad is a lawyer. What would he know about hustling? Oh, he'd know everything about hustling then. <laughs> I'm going to tell him you said that. No, you aren't. Because you're not even supposed to be hanging out with me, remember? I'm going to get you one of these days, I promise you, Chaim. I'm going to have the skills one day to beat you and every old man like you. Yeah, well, until you do, I'll be sitting here with a hundred big ones. Of your money. <laughs> you know, my mom told me about you. Oh, yeah? And what about me? Your mom doesn't know crap about me. About what you were like back in the old days. About how you knew my granddad and were a total deadbeat and always owed him and everybody else money. Excuse me, that's all a total lie. Oh, you didn't owe him money? And try to go into his pawn shop and beg for a loan and then never pay him back? That's... that's a bunch of malarkey. You took advantage of my granddad way back then because he was a really nice guy and generous to people. Just like you're trying to take advantage of me now. Admit it! 
Now, now, son. You've got it all twisted. How could I take advantage of you? You aren't a really nice kid at all. What do you mean? Yes, I am. Nah, you're not. You're a lot more like your uncle. My uncle? What do you mean? What do you know about my uncle? <laughs> you have a lot of uncles, and yet you assume I'm talking about your uncle, Adam, aren't you? Well, uh, maybe. So what? What do you know about him? Your uncle used to play chess with me in this very park. He was very intelligent as well. Probably even more so than you. I highly doubt that. Yes, that was his problem too. What was his problem? What are you talking about? Arrogance, of course. He thought he had it all. Thought he could hustle any schmo who walked into the park. Well, it cost him in the end. What do you mean? He hustled the wrong guy. Got his butt kicked from Portland, Maine to Portland, Oregon. The rest was history. Wait, what? Yeah, he got beat up. Beat real bad. Was never the same. The painkillers he was on because of it led him down a dark road. Everything else I'm sure you know about. But I thought he got into a car accident. I thought that's how he got so hurt. Nah, that's just a story they told you to make it all seem better. The truth is, your Uncle Adam was a little menace in this here park. And he got real cocky. And it cost him big time. So why are you telling me all of this? Because you think it's all going to happen to me too or something? I'm telling you because you have the chops, kid. I see it. But you have to keep that ego in check. You can't end up thinking you're the man before your time. So what do you think I should do? I think you should come to the park tomorrow evening and let me teach you a lesson. Oh yeah, I bet you'd love to teach me a lesson. Not that kind of a lesson, kid. I want to help you. You know, be your tutor. So you can be a success in this business. And not like your dumb old Uncle Adam. Hey, how dare you call my Uncle Adam dumb? You said he was smart. I'll come down there right now and kick your butt too. Uh, there it is. Those same flashes of anger. Whatever, Yoda. I'm not interested in your... your lessons. Alright, well, if you say so. But I'll be there tomorrow. Same time, same place. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Amos, where are you? It's 7 o'clock. And don't tell me that you're at your friend Bobby's house because I know that you aren't. Uh, yes I am, Mom. What are you talking about? Please, honey, do not lie to me. I just got off the phone with Bobby's mom. You aren't there. You never were there. And you weren't there the other day, either. So where are you? I'm, uh, I'm nowhere. Well, that's impressive, honey. Maybe you should be a physicist. Huh? You're at the park, aren't you? You're playing chess with that old man, Chame, aren't you? Um, no. Uh, damn it, Amos, would you please stop lying to me? Mom, you just said a bad word. That's right. I did say a bad word because that's how upset I am with you right now. Do you understand me? I have told you time and time again to stop playing chess there. I don't want you ending up like... Yeah, yeah, I know. Like Uncle Adam, all right? I've heard it a million times. Well, I don't want that. You don't understand, honey. Yes, I do. Chaim told me all about it. Oh, he did, did he? And what did he say? I'd love to know what Chaim thinks he knows about Uncle Adam. He told me all about how he got his butt kicked in the park for hustling at chess and then ended up hooked on drugs because of it. Oh, is that what he told you? Yep, that's right. That he hustled the wrong guy and it was all downhill from there. Yes, well, that's all half true, honey. Half true? What do you mean? Your Uncle Adam did end up hustling the wrong man, and it was in that park, and he did end up being assaulted. But it wasn't just some random stranger that walked into that park one day to play him. Okay, then who was it? Well, it was Chaim himself, hun. Wait, huh? Then how could that old guy have hurt Uncle Adam? It wasn't Chaim himself, per se. It was this kid he used to hang around with. A kid? What do you mean? Well, a kid is in around the same age as your Uncle Adam was at the time. But he was sort of Chaim's muscle, if you will. He was his muscle? What does that mean? He protected Chaim when they'd go into the park to hustle chess. But why would Chaim need protection while doing that? Well, dear, because Chaim has a big mouth, if you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, I guess so. And you're a smart kid, so you can also guess what Chaim is possibly planning for you. Um... I don't know, uh, maybe. You can figure it out. Go ahead and try. Well, I have a guess. I could be off, though. I kind of hope I am. Okay, what is it? 
Well, do you think that Shame is kind of hoping that I'll be his new muscle someday or something? Well, that could be. Or he possibly just wants to take all of your money. Or maybe he wants you to end up like your Uncle Adam. But why would he want something like that? Because, honey, some people just want other people to be miserable. Hmm, well that's messed up. Yes, dear, I agree. So will you come home, your wrestling starts soon, and we have to talk about our plans for this weekend. Okay, I'll be home soon, Mom. I promise this time. Hey, kid. Where the heck did you go? I come out of the bathroom and you vanished on me. Sorry, old man, but I had to split. What do you mean you had to split? We were right there in the middle of a game. A game that I was on the verge of winning, by the way. That's why you left, isn't it, you little pansy? Can't handle losing, can you? You'll never be a hustler. Maybe I don't want to be a hustler, Chame. Maybe I have a lot more ambition than that. Oh, yeah? Like what? You're gonna be an astrophysicist or something? Face it, you've got too much of your uncle in you, kid. Well, I'm going to use the best parts of my uncle then, and not let you use the worst parts against me. What the heck are you talking about, son? My mom told me the truth, you lying old fool. I know what you did to my Uncle Adam, how you corrupted him. It's your fault that he is the way he is. You're the one that got him beat up. Hey, your uncle always had a choice in the matter. It's not my fault he didn't come through with his promises. Just like you aren't now. Sorry, Jane, but I'm out. My chest days are behind me. Oh, so you're retiring? Already? Don't you think that you're a little bit young to be hanging it up already? I mean, you haven't even hit puberty yet, son. Well, I guess I don't want old vultures like you trying to take my money. Trying? You mean succeeding. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not a sucker anymore. I wised up. Yeah, we'll see about that. You'll be back. They all always are. Oh, Mom, that was so amazing! That was seriously the best day of my life! Thank you so much for taking me! Well, honey, I'm glad you had a good time. My ears are still ringing, but it was an interesting experience, I must say. I, uh, I wish I was able to get a t-shirt, though. I'm sorry, hun, but your dad and I had to stick to our guns on that one. You can't just gamble away all of your allowance money in a chess game and expect us to buy you a $50 t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, I know. I guess I learned my lesson, huh? In a lot of ways. I would hope so, dear. So when will I be allowed to play chess again? You can play chess whenever you want, just not with old guys in the park trying to take your money. All right, well, I guess not. Honey, don't get any ideas. I don't have one, Mom. Shame continued to hustle chess in the park until his last days, and in fact, died during a game, slumping over right before checkmate. Amos continued his practice of the game and became a chess champion in high school. Uncle Adam, now clean and sober, served as his coach. Although Amos no longer puts money on games, he has managed to store up a nice collection of WrestleGons, t-shirts, and apparel.